I'm going to be talking to Jana Mosley, who is the president of NMAX Power, about a very interesting medium uh, duty electric truck uh, pilot program that they're just launching. So welcome to the interview, Jana. Thanks for having me. Now, this is really interesting because I've talked to many experts, uh, EV experts, and they all say that in the commercial side of, uh, of uh, electric vehicles, that medium duty is where the action is going to be. There's the, the, these are trucks that usually go out for a prescribed number of kilometers per day. They come back to a central location. They're easy to, uh, to uh, charge. Uh, you know, you have a central charging depot, those kinds of things. So tell me a little bit about the pilot program that NMAX has, has uh, started. So NMAX is the first utility in Canada to pilot medium duty electric fleet vehicles as we work towards a cleaner energy future. Um, next week, we're going to see two medium duty vehicles hit the streets of Calgary as part of our uh, commitment to electrify our fleet by 2030. Now, these trucks, help me uh, imagine what these are, because these are not just pickup trucks, are they? No, uh, no, they're not. So we've, we know we've got electric vehicle options um, as it relates to the regular um, pickup, pickup truck that you see around town. Um, but what we don't have a lot of options for in an operation such as ours is more of these medium duty trucks. So the larger trucks that you see that generally have a big box on the back, and there's a lot of activities that happen um, in, the, in that big box in an operation such as ours. Our crews have equipment in there. They're plugging into different things to run tools when they're out on a site actually doing work. And so um, the amount of medium duty trucks that you see out there in any um, industrial type um, organization is substantial. And we're going to work with manufacturers to figure out how can we create a medium duty truck that we're able to deploy in our operation here in Calgary. Yeah, we should point out that, there, that these trucks will have a custom built body from Intercontinental and a custom built chassis from International, a, sub, a subsidiary of Navistar. So what are the economics of an electric uh, fleet from NMAX's point of view? Do you, is it a substantial saving? We see a real opportunity for savings here. Um, just by operating one electric um, fleet vehicle, such as these uh, medium duty class six, uh, we expect we can save uh, an estimated uh, 4,300 liters of diesel fuel uh, every year. So that's just for one vehicle. So when you think about that in the long run, uh, we could see that um, our total cost of ownership from a maintenance perspective uh, could be improved by 50%. Wow. And of course, you get the electricity for free. Well, so, we pay the bills just like everybody else. <laughs> so um, what about, uh, there's an aspect of this that I find really interesting, and that that is that NMAX wants to uh, electrify its uh, 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 medium duty uh, fleet so that it can learn lessons it can pass on to its customers and help them electrify. That makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I think it's important that we are seen as a leader in this space. Electrification is something that's really exciting for our industry and um, for all of us with our collective goals to achieve net zero. And I think that, um, you know, while we see EV adoption increasing um, in the city of Calgary and across Canada, we also want to make sure that we're doing our part to electrify the vehicles that we use so that we have a positive impact on the environment as well. Now, Jan, I want to ask you a question because this pops up in my social media feeds all the time and it's a little frustrating. And you see the memes that talk about how, oh my goodness, we're going to, we're going to uh, you know, EV uh, adoption is going to grow and we're going to blow up neighborhood uh, electricity uh, infrastructure. You know, we're going to have transformers popping off in neighborhoods all the time. It's just can't handle the load. And I always respond because I interview utilities all over North America and Europe. Uh, that your utilities like NMAX have been planning about thinking about this for years and planning it for it for years and will invest in the infrastructure that's required. Am I correct or are the, the critics correct? 
I think that it's wise to be thinking about, you know, where are the adoption curves? How quickly is this increasing? And what does that mean for our system? But you're right. Utilities such as ourselves have been planning for this. Part of the reason we're piloting all sorts of different technologies on our system is to figure out how do we maximize the use of the existing grid and where do we need to make incremental investment in that grid in order to enable these different technologies. So um, I think that uh, non-wire solutions such as um, battery storage is gonna be another great opportunity for distribution companies uh, to you know, avoid incremental investment where we don't need to so that we can continue to keep electricity affordable for our customers. Well, interesting. That's grist for another interview. Uh, I find that interesting. Uh, so uh, one final question, and that is you're going to be sharing the results of this pilot with your peer utilities. Uh, so I, your commercial operation, I'm surprised that you would share this information. Will it be utilities just in Alberta or across Canada? Well, first, I'd say that, you know, this pilot received just over a million dollars worth of funding from Emissions Reduction Alberta, uh, and, and Max is covering the other half of the pilot. And so it's really important to us that we're able to share our learnings with other utilities in Alberta, yes, but across Canada, and quite frankly, across North America and, and globally. I think the utility business does a great job of sharing solutions. And I think as we look at electrification and achieving net zero goals together, sharing and partnership becomes even more important for us to collectively reach those goals. Well, Jana, good luck with the pilot project and thank you very much for this. Thank you.